Hi, Guido Fox here. Welcome by a new book report. Today I want to discuss with you this book, Meditation for Busy People. Meditation for Busy People. Uh, it was a very nice book, quite simple. Um, nice pictures uh, inside. Um, but the most people are busy, right? There are a lot of people who are so busy, so stressful, not only with their work, but also with uh, their family life, with your friends, with your social activities, with the sports activities you're doing. And then you have to do also your groceries, cleaning of your house, uh, um, going on holiday, manage the holidays where we should go. go. Uh, so all those mental stress there. Uh, so people are living in stress, people are living in stress, mental stress, physical stress, we overtrain ourselves. Uh, so you see a lot of stress uh, mechanisms in uh, society. And uh, one of the interesting things in this book is that uh, the self-fulfilling prophecy uh, if we are saying we are stressful, we are stressful. So if you're constantly saying to yourself, oh yeah, I'm so stressful. Yeah, of course, then you become uh, stressful. Uh, there's another mechanism works is that your surroundings uh, are very stressful. So you pick uh, the stress from others, you drag the stress from other people. So that was my case in my old office life. That I had so much overstressed, nearly burnout people in my surroundings and with my high consciousness level, I pick up all those energies and pick up all those stress uh, related attitudes. And uh, then you becoming stressed yourself, right? So be also aware in what kind of environment you are. Are you on the good place? I mean, if you're constantly stressed people in your surroundings, then you will be stressful too. And if you're constantly saying to yourself that you're stressed, then you will become stressed. Another thing about stress is that we are always saying why we are stressed. So we are saying, oh, we are stressed because of this and that. And also we're writing down here a very interesting point is that we are always finding some reasons to be stressful uh, because it looks so silly to the outside world why you are so stressed. Yeah, it's so silly if you say I'm stressed, but I don't know why I'm stressed. Mostly stressed is because you have it too busy. And you have to do so much and you're thinking about it. So it is two way. You are a too busy and you have less time for meditation and to have rest and walks in the forest. You have constantly to do so much things within a deadline. So you have to reduce your work. You have to make it more efficient. You have to take care about your free time and spend it wisely. So some time management involvement there. And B is that you think too much about what you have to do uh, about a certain time so you think oh I have to do this oh I have to do this about two hours oh I have to do a call about two hours oh I have to more do this oh I don't have to forget that one of the things what you can do is write it down on a paper or in your agenda so if I have to do something I have to refill my oil in my scooter I put it down on a list if I have to do something next week, I put it in my agenda. If I have to do some book reports, I know it in my agenda. I have on my list, okay, Guido, I have to do my book reports and I will do it. Uh, so no discussions there with yourself. So what you can do if you have so much things in your head, write it down. If you have problems with someone, write it down. 
what kind of problems, what I want to say to that person. So write everything down to reduce the mental stress because you have to reduce the mental stress to become less stressful. Eh? Mental stress is the most important that you think about the things what you want have to do. It's not that you have it so busy. I mean, I have it so busy during there. I do so many things. I speak to so many people. I have, uh, read so many books. Uh, but I fry it down and, and enjoy the moment of doing. And that is not really the stress-related thing. The stress-related thing is mostly that you think about what I have to do in the future and I'm not getting it on time. Uh, there's a time deadline um, mechanism there also in stress-related uh, uh, issues. So also what I did also in my past uh, past life, in my before uh, spiritual life uh, with my studies. I mean, I did three studies in, in four years. Uh, what I did is always uh, the mechanism, what, um, what I can do, I do. And I prepared already for exams um, two weeks before. So if I know there's an exam about two weeks, I was fully prepared two or one week before the exam uh, that I never was in a stress-related uh, situation. And that's also where stress is coming from. I know that I worked with a lawyer uh, and my boss and he was doing everything on the last moment. So uh, preparing for a court. Uh, in the last moment uh, thing so what and then the stress is kicking in and then the mental stress and then your work uh, become uh, less and less uh, less and less better uh, so also for the quality of work is do things um, a lot of things before uh, the deadline people are working always on the deadline and they like to have to stretch and they like to have to rush and are you on time or not and i worked all the night to manage the deadline and showing off to your colleagues that you worked all your night right some group pressure there and showing off mentality but then you're telling to me okay then you don't can plan if you're so stressful with deadlines and that kind of things, right? So two weeks before the deadline, you have to finish your all your tasks and then you reduce already, already the stress uh, in your mental system, right? And enjoy the doing of your work. If you really love your job, enjoy the doing aspect. So before the deadline, uh, two weeks before that, and you finished already the job, and maybe three days you're corrected a little bit or you have a last eye on your uh, on your thing. Uh, that's very important and fry things down. If I have my clients and they're popping things up in their, uh, in their destructive mental issues uh, or I have new ideas for a client, I fry it down on paper, I fry it down on paper and then I reduce my mental stress because otherwise it's pumping up so much in my mind um, that I cannot functionate, uh, functionate uh, anymore. So stress is related, I think, uh, with my life experience to those uh, two issues. So not being on time and writing things down and of course reduce the workload if you uh, cannot handle it. Page 46 is that uh, 90% of the tensions are in the face and not in the body. So you can read uh, on the faces and uh, with all my social experience, I can read immediately on the face of people, okay, this stress related or not. So you can see on the faces of people are can handle stress. And that's also what you want, right? If you're a boss of a big company and you want to hire, uh, you want to hire people, uh, then uh, you want to have people who can handle stress, eh? uh, who are on time, who uh, have the right planning to do things. So uh, you can see mostly on the faces of people if they can handle stress 
uh, who are not can uh, can handle uh, stress. Another things uh, what you can do to reduce uh, stress is, uh, of course, not uh, only meditation incorporate incorporate in your life, but you can also reduce um, that you are going to the crowd. Uh, so the crowd is mostly stressful. Um, grabbing in stores right so if you're going on uh, Christmas days to um, your furniture buying your furniture in shopping malls you know that's a very stressful day a stressful weekend uh, do it on a Monday when it is not so busy uh, supermarket you can change the time of going to the supermarket I always go uh, during the day somewhere in the morning uh, to the supermarket or somewhere quiet in the afternoon to reduce uh, the crowds and reduce the stress of the crowd. So you have to understand that the crowd is stressful, the crowd is angry, uh, uh, the crowd is depressive, the crowd is unhappy. So how more people they are stingy together, how more you pick up that stress levels too. So try to uh, act and live a little bit more outside uh, the crowd and the, the stress uh, levels and what you will see is if you um, have less stress that you also sleep as a rose i was a very bad and bad sleeper in the past before my spiritual awakening i was so bad in sleeping i was waking up in the night and i couldn't sleep for an exam i was so stressful i was so dedicated i uh, I was I was so um, insecure if I uh, was passing the exam or not because I didn't want to do it in the summer. Uh, so I couldn't sleep. I was very bad to fall in sleep. I was overtrained. Um, uh, I slept bad. And since I meditate, uh, I sleep as a rose. I'm so good. I sleep in 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 two time periods i sleep three four hours then i do meditation and then i sleep another three two to four hours and i have such a good sleep and that's what also we're writing down here so on page one three six is that very few people are sleeping well it's very special if you're sleeping well in this society uh, so much people are not sleeping well, going into sleeping pills, going into drugs, going to in smoking to become more relaxed. So you are very, if you are lucky with your meditation and you sleep well, that's amazing. Then you are so much further than the rest of society. You're stepping really out into personal development if you're sleeping well. So meditate. I meditate before sleeping. I meditate after three, four hours sleeping and then I sleep another three, four hours and then meditate in the morning. Uh, I meditate again after my breakfast and gym. Uh, then I do my meditation. So uh, the meditation will reduce my stress levels um, and take uh, out, watch out for too much caffeine. Caffeine makes you awake. But you see also the next days you will be much more tired than before. So watch out for caffeine too much. Uh, also before sleeping, right? Because your deep sleep, uh, caffeine will be involving in your deep sleep mechanism. So not so much sleep. Don't walk in the crowds. Make a list for yourself. Um, don't be stressful uh, too much with too much work overall um um doing the activity with full attention so that's sort of tips uh to reduce your stress in life um of course i can coach you uh, to become better deal with stress your time management and your whole life uh, your whole life energy focusing thank you for watching this video and i wish you a best day bye bye